what is the actual difference between ceramic and vitrified tiles? Next question is by Ketan Patel from Delhi and he asks, what is the actual difference between ceramic and vitrified tiles? What is the difference between ceramic and vitrified tiles or ceramic and porcelain tiles? This is world's most asked question related to tiles in last 20-25 years. I mean, people have been asking this question in every forum in different forms for over two decades. And even now, this is the most frequently asked question related to tiles. I seriously thought, why is it so? I mean, in last 30 years, we have learned so much in every field, in science to psychology, that our questions have changed. But this question about tiles is still doing rounds. And then I found two reasons behind this situation. First is that general people, I mean, who are not into construction or interiors, they don't need or buy tiles frequently. When they are doing new construction or renovation, that time only they go to the market. And there they get too much of gyan, which is different from shop to shop and salesman to salesman. When they turn to social media, situation is not very different. And then when they visit companies websites, they are overwhelmed with the marketing communication. So in absence of basic and correct information, instead of getting clarity, they get confusion. And other reason is that some information in public domain is technically incorrect. Some information is only partly correct and some information is stale and now redundant. For example, if someone said porcelain or vitrified tiles have more scratch resistance than ceramic glazed tiles, it would have been true in past, but it is not totally correct now. Why? Because tiles have changed. Tiles have evolved and new varieties have come up. And unfortunately, new information is not updated in the public domain. So back to the question, what is the difference between ceramic and vitrified tiles? Or what is the difference between ceramic and porcelain tiles? First of all, let me tell you about this terminology itself. No technical standard for tiles recognizes and mentions the term vitrified tile. ISO 13006 for tiles talks about the term porcelain tiles. But in India, market is using the term vitrified tiles as a synonym of porcelain tiles. So here, while replying to you, I am also using the term vitrified tile and porcelain tile for the same category of tiles. First and foremost point is that vitrified tile is one variety of ceramic tile. Which variety? Variety of tiles whose body is not porous. How do we know body is not porous? By realizing that they do not absorb water. How do they develop this property? Well, they have low or no porosity because although they are ceramic, their raw material, uh, high compaction and very high temperature firing create a glass-like microstructure in their body. Glass in Latin is also called vitrum. Vitrified word has come from this Latin word vitrum. Vitrified means like glass. You know glass is solid, no porosity or permeability. You take a piece of glass and put few drops of water on its surface. It does not absorb water. Now you observe a thick glass sheet, say 8 mm thick. It is very heavy, right? Actually, its density is very high. It is also very hard and does not get scratches easily. But it is a brittle material. If you hit by some sharp and heavy object, it will crack and it will break. So vitrified tiles are ceramic tiles which have some property, some of the characteristics of glass although they are not transparent. Now let us talk about its implication. I mean, as a tile user, what does it mean? Or in other words, what way they are different than other ceramic tiles? Vitrified tiles have high flexural strength, also known as MOR or modulus of rupture. In simple words, its toughness is very high. If you take one vitrified ceramic tile and another non-vitrified ceramic tile, and if their thickness is same, the vitrified tile can take much more load before it breaks. Its breaking strength is high. These are frost resistant also. Because the body itself is non-porous, these tiles do not necessarily have to be glazed on top. For example, you have popular double-charge vitrified tiles. These are unglazed, but still they don't absorb water. 
tiles which have higher water absorption will necessarily need a layer of glaze on top so that they don't absorb water from the top. Glaze is what? Glaze is nothing but glass. The unglazed vitrified tiles, popular as PVT in India, polished vitrified tiles, they have high scratch resistance. You can say same as polished granite, approximately 6 in Mohs scale. Now you also get glazed vitrified tile, GVT or PGVT. If your vitrified tile is glazed, its mechanical strength will be high like unglazed vitrified tile. But nothing could be said about its hardness and scratch resistance. Why? Because the top surface of tile will perform depending upon the quality and the property of the glazed layer, not the body. So your next question could be, does it mean that GVT is bad in a sense that it can get scratched? Answer is not really. Why? Because you have range of GVT or glazed porcelain tiles which have different scratch resistance ratings. But yes, if apart from high mechanical strength of vitrified tiles, you also want high scratch resistance, you will have to choose GVT tiles very wisely. Matte finished GVT will have a higher scratch resistance than the polished GVT. Talking about non-vitrified ceramic tiles, they are to be compulsorily glazed so that they do not absorb water from their top surface. These ceramic tiles generally come in two compositions. A. Floor application uh, ceramic tiles which have water absorption between 3 to 6 percent and B. Wall application ceramic tiles which have water absorption more than 10 percent, often more than 15 percent. So vitrified or non-vitrified, all ceramic tiles can perform well for the applications they are made for. Just remember, choose your tiles wisely, use good tile adhesive and ensure good workmanship. So now you know what is the difference between ceramic and vitrified or ceramic and porcelain tiles. Happy tiling. Thank you so much, Dini. कुछ और सवालों के साथ हम मिलेंगे आपसे अगले एपिसोड में. Building material से जुड़े अपने सवाल या complaints आप हमें comment, email या WhatsApp से भेज सकते हैं.